your favorite TV girl, Kim Opera. And of course, Trending is brought to you by our darling sponsors, Airtel. It's going to be a fun field show and I cannot wait to show you what we're set to do. All this and more after the short break. Welcome back. We have Alexander Adelabu. <laughs> I'm sure you guys don't know him by that name. We have the one and only Magix in the building. Thank you so, so much for having me here today. How are you doing? You have an amazing smile though. Thank you, yeah. but you're not smiling back. <laughs> <laughs> How's it yeah. going, how's it going? It's going great, it's going good. I love your style, do you style yourself? Yeah. You do? <laughs> yeah, hmm. style myself. Yeah, you look really good. Thank you so much. Just giving like, smile. keep up. <laughs> Do, you know? Yeah, that's just like, you know, How we you like different it? things now. Mm -hmm. So like, that's what I like. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about your journey in music. Mm. From Christ Apostolic to Christ Embassy. Mm. Would you say this helped in shaping the type of music that you produce? Everything like that we become later, like whatever you do, like your upbringing has um, so much influence mm -hmm. on like what you eventually gravitate towards in life so i think where i was the church i attended the school i attended all those things kind of like you know influenced the kind of yeah the person i am and also friends mm -hmm. you know i think that's a very very um untouched topic you know a lot of artists don't give credit to their friends because you know the friends you make you know the kind of music they like you know also influences you you know so yeah yeah. That's true. So talking about your time at Christ Embassy, I know you've yeah. really spoken about that helping shape who you are as a person. Yeah. And apparently Rema too was also in Christ Embassy. Yeah. Let's <laughs> let's talk about that. Did you guys know yourselves whilst you were in Christ Embassy or did you just hear that okay you guys so, were at uh, Christ Embassy or something? So me I'm a Lagos guy. Okay. <laughs> like all my life I grew mm -hmm. up in Lagos. I even finished from the University of Lagos. Okay. So like everything I did, literally like Lagos, pretty much from the knee. Mm. So, like, okay. so for me, I'm just Christ Embassy Lagos. And mm. a lot of things I learned, you know, I actually got a chance to actually lead, you know, a set of teenagers, you know, to like, you know, singing in the church. You know, we used to have like a group, you know, where we used to rap and sing, you know, so like, nice. those are like the, things that we, you know, that really we have to put together you, for the yeah. adult church, you uh -huh. know. So all those things to like help, you know, shape who um, I eventually like, Became you know, as yeah. an artist. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, we also noticed that you changed your name. There was a name change somewhere from <laughs> Magic to Magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did that happen? It's a very, 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 very fun story. I've said it before. So there was a day, yeah, there's this song, why are you gonna be so rude? Mm. So that person is the person's name is Magic. So I was already very Magic already. Mm. So yeah, my sibling just like this. Mm -hmm. I was sitting here. She was sitting there, and the song came up on TV. And when the song end started, I saw Magic. I was like, I didn't pay attention, but I didn't know my sibling was paying, paying attention. attention. Then at the end of the song, I saw it again. Like my son was like, guys, like your name did they use? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that was when I knew that I had to like yeah, switch it up because I didn't want to let it go. Mm -hmm. um, so I used my real name. Yeah. Um, there's an X in my real name. Yes. And I, that's what I used for like. Yeah. Yeah. To just check. Okay, yeah. To, to switch it up. Switch it up a bit. <laughs> that's nice. To make it look nice. Very innovative. Yes. That's yeah. very innovative because I mean a lot of this happens in the industry and people literally have to go through. Yeah. The whole name change name process. Change, yeah. that, that was really hectic. Yeah. That was good that you caught that early. Thanks yeah. to your sister. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Magic Sister if you're watching this. Yes, sir. So why would you say um, it's your type of music and what do you want your fans to feel from it? It's a lot of Afro soul music. Um, I do patois as well. Mm. You know. uh, my new single, Loyal and mm -hmm. Colors, they're like, there's a, there's a perfect blend of like what I do. Mm -hmm. um, so I make different types of music. I feel like people need to like just go and listen to my music. But I'm an Afro fusion. The whole package is, is called Afro fusion. Afro fusion, fusion yes. Yeah. Yeah, but like, so what do you want your fans to feel when I'm listening to a magic song? How do you want me to feel? Like I want when you to perceive the yes. truth. Like 
mm. I'm just the truth. Like I'm actually saying the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, when I when I speak, I'm talking to you. You know to. Because I know you know this thing. I'm just telling you. You're just telling. You're yeah, just telling it to this, us. Yeah. yeah. What have been the challenges you have faced, or you feel like up and coming artists in the industry? Not that I'm saying you are one, yeah. but what do you think you know the challenges uh, are that are faced here in Africa? As well? Um, it's actually everywhere in the world. Mm-hmm. First of all, finance. A lot of <laughs> a lot of people be saying this finance thing like yeah, it's it normal, really like, be it's a, normal a big like, issue. It's just a normal thing mm-hmm. because you definitely need, need finance, finance to to get to where you need to get to. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you might have all the resources, but also you need mm-hmm. refined talent. Yeah, you know, it's not just talent. You need to have work the talent. Mm-hmm. You know, just like a bowl. There's fresh water in there, yes. but you have to dig through the you dirt. You have to dig through you know, the dirt. So, like, when yeah. it's refined, the network is perfect. The music is 100%, mm-hmm. and the money's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate to say that, but, like, if you have, like, good promotional budget as well, you know, that helps. But sometimes, you don't even need anything to mm-hmm. blow these days, you know. What challenges um, would you say you as a person have faced? Personally, it was um, finding... A balance mm-hmm. you know what I want people to see mm-hmm. f- uh, um, about me personality the music direction mm-hmm. you know also money <laughs> that's part of things I faced you know back then recording time I didn't have money for studio you know all those things I faced those things a lot <laughs> there's a lot I face but that's normal like those, those things are normal the most important thing is for you to have at the back of your mind that you're going somewhere. Yeah. You feel me? So uh, it, once you don't know, say for your mind, say gas, hit your goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the most important thing with that. That's yeah. fantastic. Would yeah. you also say you know being part of a record label has helped in the uh, um definitely the journey? Definitely. Yeah. Can you take us through your your signing process, with Maven? Uh, I mean, you guys are like <laughs> the new hot kids on the block yeah. and you guys body of work so far put together the production of the songs yeah. not just individually but together have been so amazing mm. as compared to like the following you know the other prodigies of mavens like mm. what would you say has really helped in that process would you um. say structure is good there's a good finance back end <laughs> <laughs> so you can have all the finance in the world mm-hmm. if you don't have substance it's not going anywhere. Yeah. You feel me? You have to have it. Yes. You know, first of all, it's not about the money. Mm-hmm. You can have zero money and still pull enough people to help share your music. You yes. know, music is audio first. Facts. You know, it's what you listen to first than visuals. Mm-hmm. You know? Money only makes it grow faster. You mm-hmm. know, and for you to put on radio, yes. you know, all those things. For like, the rich. so it's, yeah, for mm-hmm. the rich. But once something is good, it needs to be good first. Yes. Yeah, so. But yeah, like the structure of the label is. Top notch. Yeah. I'm grateful for um, Don Jazzy for giving me like the opportunity mm-hmm. you know, to show myself to the world. And, and yeah, yeah we, are, we are doing great. Shout out, shout out to Don Jazzy. Yes, sir. For always coming true for <laughs> us. <laughs> Over the years, different yeah. artists have either in a way shifted their style of music automatically changed their, their style, style of music, music. Yeah. what would you say to that is that something you might be looking to doing or you just want to like, focus on afri fusion my style of music from the beginning has always been like you know versatile mm-hmm. you know, if you listen to my first project my second project it's not the same thing i'm very versatile even the patois thing the original love and cost of dime was mm-hmm. patois like 50 percent patois you know, mm-hmm. like thirty percent R and B, and like you know, another twenty percent Afro music. Yes. You know, so like most of all these things, they keep getting like a rebirth. Yes. You know, the more you do more music, mm-hmm. you kind of like shape them into different things. But like, mm-hmm. I've never really changed. And you've and not even put yourself I'm, into a box. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've never really put myself. Really explore. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's amazing. So talk to us about your upcoming projects. Yeah. And projects that are already on ground yeah. that we need to know about. <laughs> What's happening with magic? I just dropped two new songs, Loyal and Colors. Mm-hmm. Um, these are like 
simply like amazing songs that I recorded very late last year. And Colors is about like, you know, how much like I like this girl, you mm. know, and I want her to know her worth and I'm ready to like do anything for mm -hmm. you, you know. And Loyal is about like, you know, these girls are not loyal. <laughs> <laughs> and is there actually a girl that you're like, you know, trying to get ready to do uh, anything for? Mm. Well, me, I'm... Mm. You know, yeah, you're <laughs> dropping. You want to do something for somebody. And on the other end, you're dropping. The girls are not loyal. Like. Me, personally, I'm a virgin. Ah. <laughs> you can write stuff off like, mm -hmm. you know, personal, like, experiences. experiences. You can write stuff other off people's experiences, other people's true. experiences. Yeah. You know, so I like to see myself as a person that is a social scientist. <laughs> <laughs> but in real terms, he's not. Social observer. Social observer. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, you heard it from Magix himself. He is a virgin, guys. Yes, sir. And <laughs> I'm for real. I'm yeah, he's, real. he's serious. Yeah. Why are you, why are you, why are you not being No, no, I agree with seriously? you. No, I agree with you. And he's a social observer. Guys. Yeah, I observe things. <laughs> Thank you so much to our amazing guests for joining us today and thank you, our audience, for tuning in. Don't forget you can follow all the conversations on trending on our social media platforms. On Instagram, it's at official Hip TV. On Twitter and YouTube, it's at Hip TV. My name is Kim Opera and don't forget to keep it moving.